Hello, fight fans. Thanks for joining us at MMA Insider. Before we get rolling with today's news, show some love by hitting that like button and subscribing. Now let's uncover the latest happenings in MMA. Starting off, Bilal Muhammad believes Colby Covington will retire if he loses to Leon Edwards. Moving on, Drake places $850,000 bet on Paul versus Danis ahead of Prime Card. Additionally, Javier Mendez has given his thoughts on what Volkanovski may do differently at UFC 294. Next, Israel Adesanya revealed he's taking a break from fighting. Lastly, Dana White addresses Conor McGregor's USADA status. Bilal Muhammad thinks Colby Covington will be done fighting if he loses to UFC welterweight champ Leon Edwards. Covington challenges Edwards in the UFC 296 main event on December 16th at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Bilal Muhammad echoes the same sentiment as veteran Matt Brown, who told that he has a hard time believing Covington will continue his career if he loses to Edwards. When he spoke to the media, he said the following, 100%, he's not a guy that's going to fight contenders. You've seen it. The UFC's literally given him older guys on their way out in every single one of his fights just so he can get a win, then given him a title fight. Like there's no more older guys in the division for him to fight if he loses to Leon. There's no more older guys in the division on their way out. He's a guy that loves to build up, loves to be fake, loves to have the people cheer him or boo him. But if he loses this one, all his loser fans, fake fans, they're all going to realize this dude does really suck and he will retire. Drake's streak of massive bets will continue this weekend when YouTube celebrity Logan Paul meets jiu-jitsu veteran Dylan Danis in the boxing ring for an exhibition match at Misfits Boxing's Prime Card in England. The duo will collide in the co-main event right under KSI vs. Tommy Fury, and Drake is backing Paul to stop Danis, confident enough to place a $850,000 on the finish. After seeing that Drake bet on Logan, Conor McGregor commented, Dylan all day, showing his disagreement with Drake. Javier Mendez thinks Alexander Volkanovsky will be less cautious in his rematch versus Islam Makachev. With Charles Oliveira forced out due to a cut, lightweight champion Makachev will now defend his belt against featherweight champion Volkanovsky next Saturday in Abu Dhabi. Volkanovsky will step in on less than two weeks' notice for the title fight rematch. Volkanovsky gave Makachev a very competitive fight at UFC 284 in February, finishing off the fight in top position. Makachev won by unanimous decision, but Volkanovsky was able to fend off a good portion of Makachev's grappling, which makes Mendez think he will be more aggressive this time around. When he spoke to the media, Mendez said the following, He's going to do more. He's going to take chances. He's going to take more chances than last time. He's not going to be worried about the takedowns, because he's obviously survived the ground last time, and he also did his best work on the ground, not in the stand-up. So he's not going to be afraid of anything, and that's the one thing I feel he's going to do is he's going to come, and he's going to come throwing. In a recent interview, Israel Adesanya revealed he's taking a break from fighting. After an intense 14 months with four championship matches, he feels the need to step back. While he's not retiring, Izzy wants to focus on his well-being and personal growth. This decision follows his title loss to Sean Strickland. I don't make any excuses. Strickland got me on the night because he was the better fighter on the night, mm -hmm. and he did his work well. He had a good team behind him. I, I, I never make excuses to give him props, but now I'm going to take time to look after myself. I'm not going to fight for a long time. Right. I'm definitely not going to retire because I know me. I'm not, I'm not leaving no. for that. I know me. If, if I did, I'm fine, but yeah. I don't need to prove anything else. But I know what I can do, and I know what I can change in my lifestyle to make my body adapt to where I need to be. So I'm gonna heal myself up. You won't see me fight for a long time. Even with this look slow replacement, I'm sure they called my team up and my team was just like, he's not fighting right now. And then when I come back, yeah, run for the hills. UFC president Dana White didn't appreciate USADA reveal regarding its separation from the UFC. The partnership between USADA and UFC is unceremoniously coming to an end at the end of 2023. The breaking point was created when UFC continuously tried to get Conor McGregor back in action without undergoing six months of testing. Dana White wasn't too happy with the statement released and claims there's more that will surface shortly. During his talk with the media, he stated, well, let me just start with this. It wasn't an announcement. It was a dirty move by them. There was no announcement yesterday. That was straight scumbagism what happened yesterday. Our deal is up at the end of the year, and we're working on going in a different direction, especially after the dirty scumbag move that they pulled. That will be addressed later. I don't deal with that. When Jeff Nowitzki came here, that was the greatest day of my life because it took me out of all this shit. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. 
Your dedication and support fuel our passion to bring you the latest and greatest in the MMA world. If you enjoyed today's news, please give us a thumbs up and share with fellow MMA fans. Remember to subscribe to stay in the loop with daily MMA updates. We've got a lot of exciting news, interviews, and analysis coming your way every single day. Your engagement helps us grow and serve the MMA community even better. Once again, thank you for being an integral part of our daily MMA journey.